Hey kids, welcome to lesson 17, building an app, Canvas Painter. Redraw random part do. Now we're ready to rewrite the code for our random effect. To do this, we'll be clearing the canvas and then processing the array event list to redraw all the dots with a random radius. You've already set up the clear canvas. So next we'll need to process our array in order to find out the event information for each dot. You'll need to create a for loop that iterates through in every index on the event list. Recall the length command. And I do recall that from both lesson 15 and 16. And what that did was just run through our entire list. Within your loop, you'll be redrawing dots referencing items stored in the array. As you write this code, remember that you can treat each individual element of the array exactly like the kind of data it stores. Inside a for loop, the events at index i can be accessed with the notation event list bracket i and the offset x of the event can be accessed with the event list i dot offset x. Again, you are essentially treating the array element as if it were the data it contains. That does make a little sense. Looks like we have an example down here. And this looks like the code we're putting in. What code are we putting in? This looks like our random button from the last lesson. Looks like we're putting a clear canvas in, which we already did. This looks like my for loop, and it is going for the entire list. So as many dots as we have, we should get a list length. What's it doing in that loop? It looks like it is taking the circle event list at the index, changing the offset X and Y, and then picking a random number for the radius. Hmm. I think what that is doing is accessing the information at each X and Y coordinate and then assigning it a random value between one and 10. Well, this doesn't look too hard, especially since they've given us what we need to do. Let's go down and find the code that we need to. Right here's our clear canvas. What do we need to put in there? Well, we need a for loop, so let's drag in a for loop. This is going to run for the event dot list, event list dot length. What does that mean? It means, well, however many items are in my array, our loop will run for that. What's it going to do? Well, we are going to do the circle and then the event list bracket i and then a dot offset x. That means I am accessing the array for the offset number or the x position. That is just my X. I need to do the same thing for my Y. Event list bracket I dot offset Y this time. The next one is what I want to make random. So this is what's going to make my drawing just a random circle of the exact same thing. What I need there is to put a random number and I want that number to be between zero and 10, just like the example. At this point, we just need to add a semicolon and we should be done. I have an extra bracket there and I am missing a bracket by my eye. Everything looks like it's added correctly. That means when I hit the random button, I'm going to clear the canvas. Then I am going to go to my variable event list that's created up here. This event list is just storing all of the information X and Y when I have the shift key down. It's going to run for as many times or as many circles as I've created. And at each of the X and Y position, it's now going to assign it a random radius. I have between nine and 10 should be between zero and 10. I should get the same drawing, just with randomly different size circles. Let's try that out and see if that's what happens. Run, let's say hi, hold down the shift key.
And there's my semi okay drawn high there. When I hit random, I should get it to clear and I should get a random thing displayed. There's my circles with a random thing. I should hit it again and it should keep happening. So I get a random effect of every circle becomes a random radius between zero and 10 every time I hit random. That means sometimes they can disappear. Sometimes they can be really big. That's really fun, kids. I think our code is working as it should. Looking back to our do this, we added a for loop that runs for the entire list. We added a circle command with inside our for loop. And we set the X and Y parameters based off of the event list array and added a random number to the radius so that we get different size circles every time we hit random. We tested our program several times and it was a lot of fun and definitely very random. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.